Hi Leo, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to the channel and welcome back if you're a cyber angel. I appreciate your loyal and trusting uh, following and support. Thank you very much. Well, I'm really ecstatic, happy, happy, happy because I've got a new deck and that's the crystal deck. You might have seen the review on it from and all these decks are by Collet Baron Reed. We've got the Spirit Animal Oracle, then we have the um, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms and the um, Crystal Deck. And I'm going to go in, uh, into them extensively and they're really, really awesome. Thank you very much for your super chats and super stickers. And that's this is what I do with the money that I get from you, buying new decks. I put it all into the channel so to make it a, and keep it a big happy family and if you would like to join the family and you're new then please join us in the life and it is really great stuff we support each other and we listen to each other there's lots and lots going on in the tea room I also give free cards and sometimes it's one sometimes it's three four um, it all depends how busy the life session is, the tea room. Yesterday it was really great. So, um, and you know, you can ask your question and I'll give you an answer with three cards and an oracle card. And um, if so long it is supported by a donation. This can be done uh, either uh, prior to the life or it can be done in the life with a super chat or a super sticker. But I'm going to start with the Animal Oracle uh, Spirit Deck and you have the Wasp and you can see so much in these cards because it's not only the picture and the picture says a thousand words but it is also the numerology and the quote and you have 64 so that is a 10 and a 10 is an ending and also a new beginning because 10 becomes a number one. The wasp spirit. Sometimes life stings. Yeah, you get stung. And yes, you've got a, two wo a word that you can take as a sting or sting. St um, yeah, sting, stinks. That's what I got in my head. Sometimes life does stink. And it hurts okay you feel like you've been stung not all the spirit creatures in the nature is easy to love but when you look through the eyes of a wasp spirit we recognize that even though tough times life stings there is a purpose for pain just as there is a purpose for wasps in the natural world wasps keep insects insect population down supporting the growth of plants so too the sting of life may hurt and you may feel deeply disappointed or even resentful that wasp spirit has shown up but you will soon come to see that the spirit has something wonderful in store for you you may well come to realize that being stung led to something far better than you had envisioned for yourself. Perhaps behind the scenes, wasp spirit was conspiring with spirit to ensure that you could grow something of value to you. Spirit has a plan and wasp spirit plays a part in it. Have you ever looked back and been glad your prayers weren't answered because the path you took led to something far better? Wasp spirit is a reminder to reflect on those times for days for today's sting may hurt but something better awaits you and the message for protection is are you holding on to anger jealousy or resentment because you got stung or could you have just stung yourself by comparing yourself to others don't don't compare yourself to others as you are unique and you're, you have to look inside not on the outside 
Like the saying goes, don't judge a book by its cover. There will always be someone else who is more successful, happier, thinner, richer, um, etc., etc. Jealousy is the false belief that you can't have what you want. <coughs> or someone could take away something that was supposed to be yours. Let it go and release all those feelings that are making the sting hurt. Long after the stinger has been removed, wasp spirit has woken you up, and now you are called to trust that disappointment can lead you to a different and a better path. Align with spirit now and trust that this too shall pass and is already doing so. For the pain subsides when you stop telling the story of how much it hurt. So, with the wasp, it is it can be a nasty sting. Okay, it's a lesson, not to a long. Be careful what you wish for, and don't compare yourself. You are unique, like I said. Love yourself, and others will love you back. Show love, be the beacon of love, and shine. Now we're going on to the hidden uh, wisdom of the hidden realm and you've got number 36 again the number is here and you've got number 36 doesn't she look beautiful it's a mermaid and she looks so dreamy the river queen flow letting go natural movement <coughs> actually more or less the same message as the wasp so let go of what is no use to you let go of pain let go of being jealous or envious <coughs> now we've got an ally here and that's your friend and um, that is when the card is used in um, a spread and it can be your ally or it can be a challenge so I'm going to give you two messages and you can see which one resonates with you, Leo. The River Queen flows into your life as an ally to remind you about the concept of allowing and the law of non-attachment. Remember that all rivers come from the mountains and run to the sea to be absorbed by the larger body of water. <coughs> Excuse me. There the liquid evaporates into clouds then rain on the mountains to continue the endless cycle of fluidity so be flexible the river queen requires you to be fluid and to let go of rigidity and perfectionism you will travel as far as long as you le you let go and let flow even maneuver around the great greatest blockages like water streams around big boulders no obstacles can hold you back now if you are willing to surrender to the na natural flow of events be easy on yourself and others and watch how smoothly you move forward you may be surprised where the river takes you like i said let go love yourself and show love to others the challenger then this is the other way turbulent waters and rapids to cross are directly ahead of you you have no boat to navigate now it's just you in the water going where it takes you that said although the river queen is your challenger here she has no intention of letting you go under even when there is a waterfall ahead there is no reason to fear the river queen will help you over over it so you can splash down again in the gentle waters of the river below flowing with renewed purpose to the sea be fearless now and go with the current of events this can be 
an adventure. Now, how is that possible? That, and, and that is what it always amazes me that the cards flow really and work together. And we can take an example of that. So, when you've been hurt or you've been stung, you have had a bad time or uh, a painful time, then let it go. Let it le let the past be. Don't look back. Go with the natural current. Go with the flow and you'll be led to a better path, an even more beautiful path than you might have anticipated. Now you've got number 55, so the angels are telling you we are here. Okay, and that's a 10 as well, so it's an ending, new beginning. They've got your back. And you've got the sunstone, I never knew sunstone existed. And the meaning of the sunstone is freedom. There you go. Go with the flow. You're breaking fl free. Breaking through obstacles. The boulders. So be like water. Just flow, t flow around the boulders. The powerful to overcome limitations. Knowing you can do it. It's a sort of like, this is where the spirit is, the face, and then it's pink and green. And also a bit yellow <coughs> <coughs> any of us can become so used to being restricted that when we have a potential to move beyond limitations we stare in disbelief at the open door of the cage that has held us in captivity for far too long have you succumbed to the illusions of scarcity consciousness Inaccurate, inaccurately seeing yourself as stuck in old patterns, telling yourself that the situation is the same as it's always been, when, it tr and when the truth it has begun to shift. The sunstone spirit message is that the door really is open, and opportunities await you as you claim your freedom. You have the power to break through barriers. The parameters of your life are not what you thought they were. So much more is available to you than you imagined. So believe in your freedom. Spread your wings. And then I get to hear, don't underestimate yourself and fly. You can do it, for Sunstone Spirit is here to strengthen your resolve to leave that cage far behind you and as you dr you drink in the pleasure of being free and ready to live in a new way you can choose from an array of opportunities the consciousness of universe has made available to you so let go of this lib uh, let go and be liberated the conscious universe will help you avoid pitfalls and wrong turns that will wind, wind you back around to the same old way and place. Simply enjoy this shift. Now is your time to experience the thrill of exhilarating freedom. Wow! <coughs> this card has also got a relationship message and a prosperity message and a meditation. You can use the color, like I always say with the angel feather cards, you can use the color, you can eat the color, so you can eat um, tangerines, uh, peaches, all that's orange or pink fruit. Uh, pink f food, um, let's have a look, uh, strawberry, that if you if you do that with ice cream it becomes pink and so you get the energy and pink is also the angelic heart chakra and green is the heart chakra in Reiki now for the relationship it, this could be a love relationship or just a working relationship or a friendship relationship your past and your your past and your wounds do not have to keep you stuck in old patterns. You are free to end your current relationship 
start a new one or transform the partnership to be what you want it to be while you can never control another person or determine every event or set of circumstances you will experience you always have the freedom of choice this includes the freedom to stop and reconnect with the conscious universe drawing on the loving support and wisdom that can help you make the best choice for you there are no limita limits on love no obstacles to rece receiving that which you hope to experience enjoy your freedom knowing that you have a firm foundation in love that the conscious universe has for you now that's was the relationship message so you've got a free choice and it's not only in love my beautiful Leo okay you have the power to say what you want to show your boundaries and ask for somebody else's boundaries ask what they want and that is called respect and respect is part of love now we go to the prosperity message you are at liberty to make any number of decisions about how to interact with the universal flow of abundance does that make you nervous or are you excited it's okay now to be a little bit of both but be sure to embrace your freedom of choice knowing that sunstone spirit is bolstering your ability to decide what you want to do advice from others can be helpful but you have to listen to your heart not only your heart also your intuition your gut feeling and check in with your values before making your own decisions you no longer have to feel bound by old stories rooted in s scarcity thinking scarcity thinking is I don't have this I don't have that I wish I had that so don't just be happy with what you've got it can only get better and more so believe in the universal flow of abundance and enjoy your freedom to choose how you will interact with it you've got this Wow <coughs> sorry so I, like I said you are in your own strength your own power and that's when you make the choice and take the responsibility crystal me uh, crystal spirit meditation you can sit down if you don't know how to do meditation do contemplation and evaluation in both cases evaluation working with the stone helps us release our old emotions so you can take the stone this is my stone this is selenite I've got a couple of stones and you can play with it whilst you're sitting there and thinking taking time out 10 minutes a day for yourself the, st the stones do have healing properties okay you can w put it in your bra you can uh, put it in something close to your body you can put it in your pocket make sure it doesn't fall out of your pocket and you can meditate on the stone or just drift and let the thoughts come in and out so release old emotions be strong and and own our leadership qualities which do not arise from a place of ego but from a place of inspired leadership for the highest good of all sunstone teaches us to shine authentically and without fear yes like I always say be the beacon love yourself nurture yourself take care of yourself be the beacon and you'll be like a magnet you will attract love if that's what you want but you also attract friends Wow so go with the flow let the old out so that the new can come in there has to be room made it's like a guest you know 
It's like uh, you've had a guest and they've moved out. You've got to clean the room so that the next guest will be in a clean, positive sanctuary. And that is how you treat a guest. And this is what you do with the old. You let go of the old so that the beautiful new can come into a beautiful sanctuary. And the sanctuary is you. And you can use that energy. And you can heal that energy of the old with sunstone. And the sun has sun rays. So go and sit in the sun and use the rays of the sun. Be beautiful like you always are, Leo. And you, I just always imagine you lying under a palm tree in the sun. Because you are the sunshine. The sun card in the tarot. That's you. So, Leo, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care, be beautiful, and stay strong. And stay safe. And please share and like this video with family and friends. And I hope to see you in the life, if not in the next video. Ciao, ciao.